Hello, this is Rant Kid here. Um, it's here not not to rant, but to give a little tutorial, a little how-to on um, installing mods into Skyrim. If you have the PC version of Skyrim, you probably already know that there's a plethora of mod tools out there and um, just custom-made files <clears throat> that can do anything to the game, really, um, whether it's performance enhancing, um, you know, fix your frames per second, um, added textures to make the game look better, shadows, um, other visual effects, um, just cool artifact effects like putting more assets into the game like replacing the moon or the stars in the sky. Um, so what I'm going to do here is use this little site, Skyrim Nexus. That's where I go. <coughs> That's where a lot of people go and you just download files and install them. So I'm going to show you real quick um, how to browse the site, um, how to download, and how to install uh, files. Most most files are easy to install. I, t I stick with the easier ones because um, for every more difficult one, there's usually someone that comes along and cleans it up and puts it into like one easy file that you copy into a folder. So I try to stay away from the earlier builds, the more complicated stuff. Those are for people who actually know what they're looking at and can give feedback and, and help to the community. That's another cool thing is the Skyrim Nexus community is pretty awesome. When you go and look at the comments and you're having issues, there's always someone there to help. Usually it's the creator. Um, so it's all user generated. These are different mods, inventory mod, a uh, floral texture mod, and this is the floor one, and as you can see, the, um, the guy who made it put in a YouTube video to sh see it, it's pretty nice, he even made his own little logo f banner for it, so he's serious about his work. Um, and here it's all the normal stuff, uh, all the different versions, contact information, blah blah blah. Um, so only what I do, this is the home page, Skyrim Nexus. I usually go to Hot Files. Because this is all time right here. And then you could, under Top Lists, it's more of an organization. Like the the most endorsed files in the last two weeks. Endorsed obviously means like a thumbs up or, or something. Um, let's go in here. The, I'm going to give you a run through through some of the cool mods that I found. I already have some installed. Maybe you'll get to see them when I load up the game. Um, to show you all the effects, um, but we'll focus on the ones that I'm right now installing. I've never tested um, any of these yet. I just decided to do a how-to right now. So this is an inventory one. If you've already played Skyrim, you can you could tell pretty clear that the inventory system has been revamped. Personally, I like it because, as you can see here, um, it looks like yeah, these are all apparel pretty much inverted where you would scroll up you're now scrolling left and right and it just looks a lot nicer in my opinion you know all of the value and weight all lined up right there because um, usually you would have to look into this right area but here it's just all on the fly you can just scroll through pretty awesome especially for keyboard and mouse users I use a controller mainly because of the inventory system so who knows maybe I'll go back to keyboard and mouse um, with this new system uh, the floral mods. Look at the stuff these people can do. Uh, the two left pictures, top and bottom, these are default. And on the right are the retextures of the respective pictures. Looks pretty damn awesome. Hopefully this um, capture program is detailed enough. You can see the clear difference. Here there's leaves. Look at, look at how obvious this improvement is. No question. And these are different evergreens depending on what area of Skyrim you're in, which I don't even know. I don't know if it's stock like that or this mod just has different trees for different areas. Either way, the models are amazing. Here we have, it's called 4 gig Skyrim. This is a different file. Most, most files are just DLLs that you put in the Steam uh, common data Skyrim folder. I don't know exactly the directory. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. This one just goes in the root of the Skyrim folder. Uh, I'll show you because I, I know this because I read through the directions already um, so I didn't bore you guys. I, uh, and basically what this does, I'm not super technical on it, but I know that it alloc if you have 
um, a lot of RAM. I have 16 gigs of RAM. It can allocate up to 4 gigs of RAM and dedicate it to Skyrim when, when you run it. Um, basically, it replaces the EXE. For some reason, I you see um, under mods in Steam. Where did I put it? Yeah, under mods, I have Skyrim 4 gigabyte because I added the EXE. It didn't work, though. I get an error. So instead, what I do is I have to click from this folder. You just extract it. This one right here. Um, I'll, I'll post the links to all of them. Before Gigabyte Skyrim, you download it, and this is the folder. You can extract it to anywhere. You just run the EXE. As long as you have Steam open, remember that. Um, and it'll run just like regular Skyrim, but what this 4 gigabyte does is he's claiming it that he's going to update it every day everything from textures to weapons to new spells um pretty much this this guy um created an open ended version of it so he can just add stuff on the fly right now it's just added shadows and and textures and basic stuff like that it's only about 5% complete so you continuously go back there and check and re-download the file and, and and so on. The ultimate mods. Um, this one showcases fire and frost arrows. Pretty fucking awesome. Reminds me of Zelda. I'm actually surprised that the stock Skyrim doesn't have these, but whatever. See there, he's shooting a fireball. Here it looks like a frost arrow. That's that's so fucking awesome. I can't wait to use these. And this last one is called Better Females. As you can see, left is the stock, and after these these are the new retextures. Um, obviously, huge improvements. I'm photorealistic, especially in the eyes. So this is all cool stuff, and these are all files that are. I haven't I haven't come across a file that's bigger than 300 megs. I even think that that's big. Um, so right now, I'm going to show you how to download it. Let's see, tie in this, the ultimate mod. Yeah, I have all of these except better female. So right here, this bar here, this is what will load up the description with all the, the notes and everything. Um, and these are the files. If you use Download Manager, Basically what that does is it's going to do everything I'm going to show you uh, how to do, which is doing it manually. But, so basically the, the download manager will, you, know, you can just override that. Just download it and it'll install. But personally I prefer doing download manually and think you should too. It's good to know what's going on behind the scenes. It's good to not be intimidated by going into the, the directories and tinkering around with yourself in case something goes wrong. <clears throat> so I'm going to go hope go ahead and go download manually. You have to have an account and pick a mirror, a free account, no strings attached. Preparing for download usually takes a little bit. We're coming up on eight minutes, sorry for the length. Once once this downloads in 15 seconds, so I'll show you real quick. While we're right waiting, we'll open up our directory. Mine's on my C drive. Program files. It'll usually be in your program files. And Steam. Where the fuck are you? Alright, Steam. Steam apps. Common. And these are all the games that are installed through Steam. So I go in Skyrim and Data. There's right here. That's your uh, directory. And right in here, the data is where most things are housed. How these these guys set it up so the download. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. So so let's take the inventory for example. This is in an interface folder. I. What it'll start out with is just data, and relatively nothing will be in here. These are where all your mods are. There's some stuff in there. But whenever you see something like this, an interface folder, and then in there there's like all the components and, and the main file. 
if you don't have interface folder, then create an interface folder or just drag this folder in there. Since I already have an interface folder, you obviously don't want to drag in there because you'll replace. I'm just going to go in here and copy all these right in here. They can all be in the same interface folder. If you have another mod that is in an interface folder, you just click that and drag it right in there and just add it to the pile. So that's it for the inventory. That should be all set. Custom setting. Now the directions in here, since I already read it, this is the only one that's different. They say to put this right in the root of the Skyrim folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, now, now the rest are pretty, pretty straightforward. The ultimate mod. See, this one gives me data folder, so we're going all the way back. We'll go through here. I have a textures folder, but I don't have a meshes folder. So I'm going to extract my meshes folder over here in this titanus, titiness. And since I already have a textures folder, I'm going to go into my textures folder. And, there, you know, there's a, effects, landscape, sky, water, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any of these. So I'm going to put it all in here. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of them. And uh, we'll come back and load up Skyrim.